Hello and welcome back. Today with me here I have the new S Bianca, Bianca Verity. Verity in translation pretty much means truth, so her name would be Bianca Truth, but Verity pretty much sounds a lot better, a lot more professional. And well, we will call her Bianca Verity from now on. And well, um, let's start with the, with the character pretty much with the basics. So she is a S-Class, 20% uh, physical, 80% attribute damage. Uh, her attribute damage is lighting, which is really interesting, really unique. Now, she is specialized in penetrating enemies and she is also specialized in, and, uh, at dealing extreme amounts of attribute damage. Which you will see later on when I fight bosses and when I fight the Warzone and Pain Cage. You will see her effectiveness. On the graph we see high burst, high damage, um, really really low controllability, uh, which is also really interesting. And pretty much her damage graphs are overall really high. Well, on to the memories and weapon. Well, I have the 5 star weapon, uh, fully maxed out, fully leveled, and I have the first, um, I have memories in the number 1 recommendation, pretty much a standard lighting set for both Paint Cage and um, Warzone. You can pretty much use both of these uh, sets uh, that are on the number 1 set. Of course, I encourage you to try out your own builds, but keep in mind, she is 20% physical, 80% lighting, so pretty much, pretty much you are kind of limited with the options as of now. But of course, uh, you can experiment to see what you can find out. Maybe, maybe some of you guys might find something, something better to use on the character than we already have now. We will see. Time will tell. Well, onto the, um, onto the lineups. Well, pretty much, uh, she, since she is a lighting damage dealer, um, her lineups are really kind of, kind of really specialized and unique. Now, these are some basic lineups that you see here. And I'll be using a combination of what you, what you see here and pretty much um, on on what I take, or should I say, on my custom lineup, and you will see, uh, they, they work pretty well, and I'm pretty much happy with um, with the lineups that I have that I have used, and of course these lineups that you can see here all work. You can try them out, of course. Well, um, let's actually dive deeper at her characteristics. So she's level 80, 7.7k health, 1.6k attack, 1.1k defense, and critical 821. Pretty decent numbers. Um, he, she is hero level, of course, uh, fully leveled out, fully maxed out, and well, level 80. So this is the current um, top. She is S class, not yet upgraded, so she is pure S class as of this very moment. And the skills. Now we have red, um, yellow, blue, and passive and actives. And well, we will start with the red one. Here in the bottom right corner, you can see Thunder, Thunder's Bolt pull in place and charges, firing a long range energy, energy arrow forward, inflicting uh, 254, 508, and 763% of physical damage based on the number of passes. When three passes, physical damage is converted to lightning damage. So, well, pretty much you match a three uh, red and you get lightning damage. Well, yellow. And the yellow one gives 100, 200, and 300 physical damage based on the number of shoots. Shots and exp uh, the explosion generates a lightning area, reducing the target's movement speed by 20, 35, 50, causing 40, 60, 80 light damage per second for 3, 5, and 7 seconds, according to the matches that you make with the with the yellow signal. Uh, really interesting little little skill, and uh, definitely really useful little skill in combination with other skills, with, especially in combination with her ultimate, since it can kind of create a explosion, a really powerful explosion, dealing lots of area damage, and it is really good, I use it a lot, and so far you will see me using it later on when, when we play Warzone and pretty much Pain Cage. Well, the blue skill, I can uh, carry away with talking, 40, 80, 100, 60, 32, 48, and 48, 72 thunder damage, 24, 48 and 72 thunder damage. Well, thankfully I have these little bubbles on the screen, so you can pause and read if I miss something. Well, um, this is the basic attack, and this is the um, ultimate. Killing thunder blast, 18 resonance nirvana, consumes 100 points of energy, shoots arrows into the air, triggering continuous lightning strikes, each segment inflicts 164.71 lightning damage, two targets within range, after, uh, after a short delay, lightning strikes energy erupts, the R3 causes 185.29. So um, that little burst of energy that, they, that you could see is pretty much boosted up with the yellow skill. So my well personal like um, from my experience playing the character, 
pop, the three yellow, and then the ultimate, and then it will boost the, the, the overall explosion radius. This is Crew Core. Uh, you will see me using this a lot. Um, deals really nice amounts of lightning damage, and um, it's pretty much also can be kind of can be called her what they, what they call siege mode, uh, which I personally um, like a lot, and I'll be using that siege mode a lot <laughs> also. And these are some passives that we have, and of course the 20% lightning damage when we have when you when you have her on the triple S plus rank, if you're extra well like me. All right, uh, let's see what we have here. And well, this is the basic combo. I'll be using this basic combo, and I'll of course practice the basic combo here. I'll be showing you how to use the combo and overall uh, all the interesting little stuff about it. Of course, you will have the blue bubbles. So, if I miss anything, um, you're free to read their her effects. And well, uh, here we are. So they tell us uh, three signals, and th three signals plus one blue signal, alright. Well, uh, in this case they mention something about cancelling those skills, which is, hmm, which is really, which is really interesting. You'll see if those bubbles pop up in a, in a moment. So, three red plus blue, and three red plus blue. And of course, uh, something that I will mention, upon dodging, you can pretty much uh, slow down the discharge rate. And, well, you will see me also using that um, a lot in actual combat. So, um, as you could read there, um, definitely really interesting, really powerful attacks of the character. And there we go, siege mode enabled. And, well, uh, over here you don't see the potential damage that this, sh that this siege mode can do. But I can assure you that Siege Mode is disgusting. Disgusting in terms of how much damage it actually does. In combination uh, with the Yellow skill and in combination of A Leaf or A Streamers uh, QTE, this character is a monster at lightning stages. Even at like normal stages, uh, the ones or the physical stages, this character is still a monster. Um, in terms of challenge content, or should I say the end game content, this character is definitely kind of the lighting, uh, lighting version of Alpha. And uh, what does that mean? Well, she is top tier lighting damage dealer, maybe the strongest elemental character at this very moment. And well, uh, of course, we will test that out. Um, in the future, I will do some direct character um, comparisons and we will see the actual differences between them, which will be interesting. Oh well. Now, as you can see, I'm having lots of fun with this character already. And here we can see definitely that um, the yellow skill gives the nice little nice little area, which slows down and gives energy uh, and gives lighting damage, and pretty much um, buffs um, your overall damage output a lot. This is the siege mode. Uh, again, uh, boosted up with the yellow skill, boosted up with pretty much everything I can I can do with the character so on. And really interesting how she pops up the, the yellow skill. You will see her jump in the air, and that's where I will tell you that this character has dual evasions, or in some cases you can pretty much evade even after you empty your stamina. Now you might ask yourself, how the fuck can you evade without stamina? Well. Um, the secret lies with the yellow signal. You can use the yellow signal to pop the field and to evade. Um, I pretty much found this very useful when I was fighting Rosetta, uh, and I pretty much uh, started to utilize it over there when I pretty much started to play Rosetta, which is really interesting uh, because this gives this character a lot more, a lot more mobility on the battlefield. So, in terms of difficulty, uh, because you can use the yellow skill as evasion, this character kind of is easier to maneuver around, like, it, uh, she is more forgiving according to the, well, more forgiving in terms of if you run out of uh, stamina evasion. If it happens that you have, like, a couple, couple of yellow skills or yellow orbs, you can just use them to evade until the stamina recharges. And, well, you can see her performing there, uh, really, really fun to play character, I mean, she's kinda slower than the than the A-class, but she does deal a lot more damage than her. Well, 
This was the closed performance and pretty much the performance, uh, well, in closed, pretty much uh, environment. Now let's put this girl to the actual test on the actual battlefield. Well, um, here we are. And of course, let me not. Oh, I almost, I almost forgot. My apologies. Well, here you can read the, the effects. These memories are pretty much uh, fully lighting memories. Uh, they give all lighting uh, lighting damage, which uh, pretty much suits the character really well. And the one, the memories uh, that I have on the on the end over there, uh, the two ones are pretty much physicals. And well, they give 15% critical rate, which is also really good um, in terms of yeah, but. In terms of that, they are really good, but still, um, physical damage is not the key for the character, it is elemental, but of course you can do physical and elemental, so why not use both, it is like the best thing to do. This is the weapon, uh, fully affixed, and pretty much uh, it's the 5 star maxed out. And well, now let's let's be honest, when you first saw the character, what was the first thing that you, see, that, that you did see? Like, I mean... When I first like saw the character, the first thing that I've noticed um, are definitely her her big eyes, right? Um, definitely her big eyes, and overall, her posture is uh, serious. Overall, um, design really good. The developers did a good job at creating the character. I like all the outfits. Um, her gaze, I mean, her like her face. Uh, appears to be she appears to be pissed off honestly <laughs> a lot of people told me who pissed off this girl like just look at her face i mean look at the maid outfit it's it's it is really good looking really good uh, although although her face though that's that's where i get chills look at that look at her face um she looks like she's about to murder someone <laughs> i'm not even joking well anyway uh, and besides let's not forget she has those huge melons on her chest and uh, Oh, all right. Well, enough joking around. Um, time to actually jump in actual combat. Let's let's see what this let's see what this girl has to offer, right? I know everyone has been waiting for this. Let's actually start. But before that, let me let me tell you why I am taking this lineup. So I'm using like S leaf over there and A leaf. Reasons: S leaf is my primary like support. I use S leaf pretty much for anything that I have because she's just that good. She gives us health, she gives us physical damage and overall increases the overall survivability of our characters. I'm using Aleve, the streamer one, for the lighting damage buff. She is part of the lighting team. And of course as DPS I will use our, our lovely Truth or should I say our lovely Bianca. Well. Anyway, let's start and let's see what we can do. Now this is the light stage. This is the stage where you want to use the character on because here you will have your fullest potential damage output on this character. And in this stage she will dominate. At lighting dam at light at the lighting stage this character will be number one in almost 100% of cases. You can use a Lucia, of course you can use her like she is still really good. But A. Lucia is kind of dif more difficult to play. Her playstyle is a lot more like uh, risky because you actually have to be close to the enemies to deal damage. She's fragile. She cannot take a lot of hits. And I would guess from my own experience, people tend to die a lot with A. Lucia. As Bianca, for uh, on the other hand, she is, um, as you can see, a ranged character. Um, I seen some memes calling this character God Bianca, but I'm not gonna go into that um, a lot, um, a lot in depth because the reasons. <laughs> I'm afraid, all right. Well, uh, and also something that um, I uh, noticed, she does have the conduction effect. What does that mean? Well, when you shoot one uh, one enemy, and um, if the enemies are kind of clumped together, then when you're shooting one enemy the lighting conduction effect will pretty much damage all enemies around him which is also really interesting uh, the same applies to a lucia she also has that conduction effect going on going on for, uh, going on for her and uh, definitely a really interesting and unique characteristics for lighting um, for lighting structures over here well the second stage you remember the second stage does have bleed and I found this character be really kind of 
um, should I say, tankier against the bleed than other characters that I have tested on the channel. Really interesting, because now I'm kind of realizing that her that she doesn't lose that much HP as Alpha, for example. Alpha bled here like crazy. She pretty much needed uh, healing in the first like in the first 15 seconds or so. Uh, really interesting, uh, which makes this character a bit more tankier. I mean, she does have um, really nice defense, I guess, which is okay. And um, overall, overall damage-wise and uh, performance-wise, is she balanced? Well, so far she is. Um, because we have only like one lightning stage so far and that's where she will shine the most so yeah it's balanced pain cage will be really interesting um, I did play that uh, from 1 to 5 and well on to the but before we go to the put to the pain cage let's continue with the war zone and well this is the stage where she will dominate the most now here, um, I forgot my score, we will see. I think I scored around 212,000, we will see. Really good score uh, for my level of gear. Uh, mostly my gear should allow me around 190 to 200k maximum. I did break that barrier a little bit. Uh, I could have broken it a lot better. And really interesting that this character, despite being so ridiculously strong, you still have to learn how to play the character before actually maximizing her performance. Honestly, uh, I do play the character so far really well, so really good, um, I'm pretty much matching all the skills as I should, and honestly, I could play a lot better, like, like uh, I'm not tryharding uh, enough in this, pretty much in this comment. I definitely can push the character um, out more, and of course, um, regarding the lineups that you have, but, well, since her main combination is uh, 3 plus blue, um, it's really kind of... it depends on your playstyle, uh, where you want to put a live and s live. I did put them like this, because this is my usual lineup, pretty much. Um, I'm used to that for a while now. And uh, I will try the other lineup, uh, to make a live on the blue spot and s live on the yellow spot. Because blue is somewhat a lot more common, so far I've noticed, for this character. And... Um, Blue means well, uh, it can give you the it can give you the siege weapon in combination with red or red plus blue can give you the siege weapon. And if I were to have it on blue, I would have lightning support, a lightning buff a lot more often because um, of the a live or the streamer live. And well, this was actually this was actually really nice. I nailed that ultimate over there. And I destroyed an entire floor within seconds. Uh, really, really, really strong character when you actually put and 213,000. Really nice. And as you can see, my older score 165,000, which is again a massive improvement. Well, let's switch the roles and well, let's see what we let's see what how I will play this time. So pretty much again, like I said, it depends from you know, from your playstyle. I am pretty much uh, really used to have um, S live on the blue spot and other supports on the yellow spot. Uh, I'm just testing things out here, and so far uh, both I can tell you definitely both uh, both ways work. It depends what you pretty much um, want from the character. Of course, you can go for the extreme uh, extreme lighting buff uh, by putting by putting A live on the yellow spot, which is a really now when I think about it, it is actually a better idea uh, because when when the when a live is on the on the yellow spot, then for example if you match three yellow and then you spe when you match the a live scooty, you get a extra buff of lightning damage immediately. And if you combine that with the siege mode and if you combine that with the ultimate you get some pretty fucking scary DPS, let me tell you that much. Um, I think I managed to nail that in the first run, and that's why I got that uh, high score. I could, however, play a lot more tactical and better. For example, you can use the um, A. Kareninas uh, Kuti in combination with the yellow and in combination with A. Liv. You, you, you would use a for the for the suck, right? For the black hole. 
she will clump them up at one spot and then you will use the um, yellows to, uh, to summon the buff, to summon the field and to summon a leaf that will improve your lighting damage and after you do that you pretty much can one shot an entire, an entire wave of enemies the boss included which is really interesting and it can definitely give some really nice tactical advantages over the field and pretty much already gives me some ideas to practice with the character this character overall has the potential to be like I said one of them and she probably is the most powerful elemental damage, de damage dealing structure in the game so far that we had well this was the lighting stage again uh, this, the first one was the best because like I said having a leaf on the yellow spot is uh, I think is the best idea to get that extra buff to get that extra lighting damage and lighting buff for the character of course well uh, let's see how she will perform for, for example at a uh, different elemental stage uh, this in this case the dark elemental well pretty much sh since she is a lighting damage dealer and this is a dark elemental uh, elemental damage stage she will pretty much not have any any buff uh, any buff damage what does that mean well uh, you will be neutral pretty much if you would run this with a physical it will be the same as you would be running this with this character and well um, for example here because of my lineup I can actually get that extra buff uh, at least to match to match the plus 30% because I have the yellow skill and because I have a leaf on my team both of them uh, both the both the structure and both the skill improve lighting damage which also makes this character kind of competitive in in lighting in the in other elemental area stages what I'm really interesting though, interested in though, how she will perform at a, for example, physical, physical war zone. Well, honestly, pretty much the same. With the biggest difference is uh, in being that she will have a bigger competition. <coughs> she will have bigger competition. She will have to compete with Alpha, which is pretty much, uh, let me tell you that, kind of difficult. Uh, both of them are excellent at their own element, uh, at their own um, stages, should I say? Because Alpha shines at physical, and this character shines at lighting. Really interesting, and uh, I pretty much like the variety of options that we have in the game. I also like the fact that you can use pretty much the, you can pretty much use the wrong like damage types, and still do good. Uh, it all depends on your lineup, pretty much, and of course, it depends on how you uh, how you planned out your match, and of course, how you play. Uh, this game does have a learning curve. Uh, this character's combo um, does does is not too difficult to to play, which is kind of weird because I think I saw the difficult level on the graph to be to be kind of high. I might have um, I might have mixed some some uh, some stuff up, but Overall, this character, if I would have to rate the, her difficult level, well, because of the combo, because it's really in, uh, easy to memorize and there is only one, like, three red plus blue, um, it is, like, easy, but at the same time we have, like, other, like, yellow buff, we have the team matchups, and we have all the different buffs that we can give to the character to improve her damage. I would say she's somewhere around, like, the difficulty will be medium, if I would give a number like uh, 10 being the most difficult, 0 being easy, I would say she's around 5, like, she's pretty medium at, at difficulty, um, in terms of overall general like capabilities of the character, general like mechanics of the character, and pretty much overall, um, overall her the feel of the character and how she plays. And really interesting, uh, like I said, all depends on uh, from player to player, this is just uh, how I experience the character. Some people might find the character easier to play, some people might find the character harder to play. Again, that's okay, we are, we are, we are all different, right? Um, for example, for example, I don't like some characters to play, uh, that, that doesn't mean they're bad, it's just the character doesn't suit me, and that's normal. Like I said, um, in this game all structures are, um, are useful. None of the structures are useless, all structures have use, even the B-ranks are excellent in this game. 
and in some cases the B ranks are actually better than the S ranks. <laughs> I am not making that shit up. It is actually like, yeah, really interesting how how uh, free to play friendly this game actually is. Lovely. Well, um, what was I about to say? <laughs> I kind of forgot. Well, anyway, um, pretty much I'm dumpstering this boss over here. Uh, the siege mode is definitely my favorite overall mode that um, that I I'm using. Uh, like I said, I did use this character to play Rosetta. You will see that video in about maybe a couple days. I just need to edit it and need to play the nightmare mode, and I need not to rage. <laughs> of course, that's really important. And as you can see here, um, playable, definitely playable. As if you if I had the six star weapon, I would be a lot more effective. Like I said, don't forget, I am getting bottlenecked by weapons. Uh, I don't have any 6-star weapon. I have fully geared out, fully affixed 5-star weapons. Still good, but still um, hindering me from my personal own performance. I could definitely achieve a lot, a lot higher scores if I just had the 6-star weapon. But again, I'm not in a hurry. I will get the 6-star weapons, definitely. And of course, I will... I will... Uh, play the characters with the six stars that's that's a guarantee well anyway uh, on to the pain cage well we have this lovely worm here again I'm taking this boss because the boss has lightning damage vulnerability that means um, as Bianca will be the most effective against him and well let's see what this girl has to offer now uh, you might wonder you might wonder why don't you use as leaf well honestly uh, the first like couple stages are pretty easy and I don't wanna like uh, waste the attempts on S Live just now. I want to use S Live on the on the highest difficulty on the bosses, and that's why I uh, pick the lineup that I that I'm going to pick here. But of course, um, A Live will be part of the team because A Live is uh, a really important part of the elemental team in in this game, of course. And well, this is pretty much one of the lineups that you see that you have seen in the recommended lineups. This is the lineup that the developers and the community has recommended. And well, uh, this is the full total lightning team. All of these characters are lighting. A Leaf gives lightning buff. Uh, a Lucia is a lighting DPS. And S Bianca is a lighting DPS. All of these characters support each other. Well, you know me. Um, I like to solo my bosses and I like to use the QTs of these characters to boost my damage. And this worm is okay. Also, we have, I, th I think we have um, a um, nickname for the boss here. Uh, we call it uh, the, the Sperm, right? Uh, we call the boss the Sperm. Um, I'm not making this shit up. Uh, God, God bless that Discord server. I truly love these guys. Like, no homo. I love these guys. They're, they're awesome people. Shout out to the Discord server. You know who you are, right? <laughs> Some of you are even watching my videos, right? So, shout out to you. Keep up the good job. All right. Well, on to the on to the second second boss battle over here, or should I say, next difficulty. And the poor bastard worm got humiliated over here. And let's see. Hmm. I, I gotta say, um, this worm has a good view on on Bianca's. Uh, you know what? Uh, when it's popping up from the ground. Um, I wish I was the worm's eyes when she, when he is popping up from the ground. You know what I mean, probably. Right, well, uh, we're dominating so far. Definitely, definitely enjoying the character a lot. Now, I've seen people say that she's slow. She is slow, don't get me wrong. Com compared, to, compared to the first Bianca that we already have, her attacks kind of feel slowish. Uh, the S Bianca's attacks feel slowish. But she hits like a fucking truck, let me tell you that. Um, that's pretty much um, what I feel so far. While the first Bianca has definitely, he, she is a a machine gun with those arrows. Let me tell you that. Uh, this character, however, is kind of slowish, but at the same time, um, is a totally different damage type. Both, of, of course, she's a elemental damage dealer, but she's not a physical. She is a well, lightning attribute damage dealer or elemental. And just look at how much damage this this boss is taking. Like. I'm taking out probably three HP bars per shot with the in the siege mode, and of course, I, I kind of uh, the siege mode, the blast overall reminds me on Doom's um, railgun. If you play that game, you pretty much know what I mean. Like 
pretty much the effect is similar. Uh, it sounds similar, and both are particle weapons, I guess. So I guess they can be similar or can be um, can be that type of weapon. Really interesting. Um, but of course, I I played Doom back in the day, and yeah, my PC sucks, so I can't play that game anymore, unfortunately. Because yeah. Anyway, uh, back to the game. It's loading. Uh, it will be like a couple, couple seconds. There we go. There we go. It's the game. Game worked. Okay. Well, as you can see here, I put S live in the lineup. You might wonder why. Well, um, this stage, the fourth one, can be tricky, and the third one can be tricky because of the bleed. We have bleed over here, and yep, yeah, is the bleed present? Uh, yeah, it is. All right. Well, uh, thankfully I did pick uh, Aslif. I think you should always have a medic at um, on the f on the fourth stage because of the bleed. Uh, it can be tricky. Uh, sometimes you, you can get carried away fighting and you don't, don't even notice your HP going down. And well, that happened to me. I died lots of times because I forgot about the bleed. And well, that's why I always uh, save. I always I always save my girl for the for the healing part in the game and she's doing a fantastic job at it so far well let's pop the ultimate even though i should have popped the blue skill first but it doesn't matter or the yellow at least like honestly um, you should definitely uh, have the yellow plus ultimate always like i have couple couple combinations that i pretty much am trying to use most of the time like we have um, three like the occasional combo three red plus blue and of course we have yellow plus three red plus blue and of course if you have plus uh, a leaf for the total maximum possible damage output for the ultimate pretty much same story uh, you pop the you pretty much pop uh, the yellows you pretty much use a leaf scooty and then you pop the ultimate and then pretty much you will do the maximum possible damage um, these are some like combinations that you should memorize. Uh, they are pretty useful, and they can make your uh, they can make your gameplay a lot more easier than uh, by than usual. And I always try to um, get that level of accuracy in the game and that level of gameplay. I always try to maximize my possible damage output. I know, I know, I am becoming a tryhard in the game. Yeah, I will not hide it. I am becoming a tryhard, and I pretty much honestly. There were not many games where I try hard. It. Like back in back when I played, like back when, when I was a fully fledged PC gamer back a couple years ago, I was actually playing some games prof uh, professionally, and yeah, I was a fucking try hard there. And well, because of the crew that I pretty much used to know in those games kind of fallen apart, games I played kind of fallen apart, and stuff stuff changed pretty much. Um, I started to play these games and I pretty much enjoyed enjoy them so far. They can be as fun as the PC titles. Well, I mean, enough of me ex describing my past, right? Uh, let me return to the boss over here. This is the maximum difficulty boss, I believe. Um, he got, I will tell you this, uh, he got destroyed really quickly. This, like, as you can see, this character just shreds. And I could have killed the boss right there if I played more carefully. But of course I didn't and well, but still, the score, the speed and the damage output are really good. And this character does require some practice, definitely. And of course that is okay, like it requires practice, no problem. I will practice the character and well, uh, we will get better at the game together, why not? Well, um, I guess it's time to pretty much summarize things up for the character. Overall, I enjoy the character a lot. Uh, I definitely recommend to use this character, because she can definitely make your life a lot easier. I know people are saving up for um, for Alpha, and I do uh, and I do advise you should get Alpha, definitely. Alpha so far make, m made my life so much easier in the game, that I just can... I just cannot recommend Alpha. Like, she, if you have Alpha, great. Um, is this character like beneficial if you have Alpha? Well, it's not necessary to have the character, of course. Like, you don't. It's not a necess necessity to to get the character. But if you have her, you pretty much have a top tier elemental damage dealer. Pretty much a top tier lightning elemental damage dealer. Um, extremely effective against enemies that ha that have lightning like vulnerability. 
For example, you can see that worm, you can pretty much snatch a good score there. For example, you could also see the lighting stage, you can also snatch a good score there, if you're, if you're like, into that. Um, if you're chasing scores, then this character is definitely not a must, but definitely makes that a lot easier. Um, it made uh, it made it easier for me. It will make it easier for you. Um, overall, like I said, the um, if I should rate her damage output, well, uh, damage output like raw damage without any buffs, without any without any of that stuff, I would say around 6.5 to 7 from 10. With buffs, it's pretty much 9 or 8, 10 um, on the base level, of course. And for example, on the double S, it will be probably without buffs a 7 or 9, and the triple S 8 or 9, and the triple S plus 8 or 9. So, pretty much um, that's uh, how I would grade her according to her, according to her damage output and pretty much according to her overall general performance. Well, anyway, uh, I really do hope that this was helpful. I was really trying my best to pretty much deliver the most informative informative review so far, uh, and well, uh, I am having lots of fun. I'm having too much fun playing the character so far, and well, uh, I really do hope that you all have good gacha luck. I, uh, if you stood up till the end of this video, I bless you with the air. RNG Jesus, uh, pretty much gotcha luck. And with that being said, I love you, and well, I'll see you next time. Take care.